What does this mean for us, for those of us who are working in this industry? Well, I think we need to do a better job of modeling human emotion. Right now, when we're designing technology, we really have two emotions <laughs> that we go for. One is calm, or the absence of emotion, neutral technology, and a lot of us probably are still thinking, well, yeah, technology should be neutral in the background, and so we design for that. And the other one is just joy and delight. But I don't think that's going to be enough. Obviously, we're going to get at least five more with emotion detection, right? We're going to get anger and sadness and disgust um, and, sa and happiness. But I think we need to go even further than that, because if we meet somebody with just two or even five emotions, that person is probably not somebody we're ever going to want to hang out with or spend a lot of time with. <laughs> they might even be a, a little bit problematic. And so we're going to have to figure out ways to unpack that emotional spectrum and to take individual emotions and understand them in more complexity and to understand how actions precipitate and unfold from emotion. So it's not just a journey from sad face to happy face that we have in all of our service design <laughs> maps for emotion. And I think one way we're going to be able to do this is by incorporating this emotion detection into not only into the product design, but into the research itself. Emotions have layers. They have a physical layer, which is what emotion AI can detect some of, not all of, in a really basic way right now. There's a social layer. When we interact, we perform emotion a lot differently. And some would say, in an online context, much more extreme way than we ever have before. And then we have a perceptual layer. And this, the technology may never get at. We have a certain concept in our lives that might be anger or contempt. We add to it over time. We keep adding to it. We have memories. We have associations. We have people. We have all this symbolism associated with that emotion that technology might never detect, but that we need to try to get better at understanding if we want an emotionally resonant and rich relationships.